This is the sea squirt, also known as sea vomit. It's hard and rubbery, and more than just being gross, it's also troublesome. Sea vomit is known to disturb the marine ecosystem by competing with native marine species by blocking their access to the seafloor in the area it develops. New Brunswick's Huntsman Marine Science Center, along with its partners, is researching this spreading invasive species in the Bay of Fundy. And they are doing it with the help of some scallop fishers. We have scallop fishers that are going to be fishing, and when they're fishing in the bay, they use drags to scoop up lots of things off the bottom while they're looking for scallops. And during that time, they're going to be looking to see if they can find the sea vomit tuna kit. And if they do find it, they're going to be taking a sample for us and bringing it back to shore, as well as telling us where they found it to help us understand the distribution. We know sea vomit is present in the Bay of Fundy, but we really don't know how much there is or which areas it's present in, like how widely it's distributed. So this project's really aiming to find that out. And we're approaching that from different angles. We're doing some dive surveys and some ROV surveys to look at distribution of it in the Bay of Fundy. We're also working with fishers and trying to collect their sightings of the species to get, enable us to get a broader impression of its distribution that we can go back and do more detailed surveys later. Uh, we're also using genetic techniques, so trying to look at the origins of this species, where it's coming from to get into the Bay of Fundy. And we're using eDNA to detect it in the water column. That's the environmental DNA. So we're actually looking at water samples, trying to find genetic evidence of its presence in those water samples. And then we're also able to use that to study how widely it's distributed. It's an invasive species um, and it can grow very, very quickly once it's introduced to a place. It doesn't have many native predators. So there's nothing that will really eat it to keep the population down. And it forms very big mats over the surface of the seabed. So those big mats are smothering the native marine life that is there. They're competing with space uh, for other native species that might settle on the seabed or on rocks where it's growing. And they're also preventing other species that either need to live in the seabed or to feed on things that are in the seabed from accessing those food resources or that shelter. Trying to understand where it's coming from and the distribution of it will help us understand what part of the bay it will be impacting if there is an impact, especially on lobster and scallop for our fishers. Goodwin says the final goal of the three-year project is to understand the spread and impact of sea vomit in the Bay of Fundy and to come up with potential solutions to control it.